Hello, how's everybody doing? Welcome to another gothic decor therapy or gothic decor idea, whatever you wanna whatever you wanna call it. So in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use Halloween items as part of your year-round decor for your gothic dungeons and homes. And also I'll be talking about how to decorate your gothic dungeon during Halloween. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, I get really excited about Halloween when I talk about what I'm going to be decorating yet with and what kind of items I'm going to be using. So somebody said, or they made a comment, oh, uh, your place looks um, to Halloween already. It looks dark. So how are you supposed to decorate for Halloween or how can you even do that? Or why should you even do that? And the answer is easy because um, First of all, I don't think my place looks Halloween. It doesn't scream Halloween, although it contains some items that are representative of Halloween, like, you know, my coffin and a few skulls that I have around. But I use those items just to bring enough darkness into my already normal Gothic decor. So it's not really to, it's not for shock value or anything. It's just um, to bring out a little darkness. and. Um, I don't really have a lot of Halloween other related items, I don't think. So, um, and I think for me, um, this is again my my own idea and opinion, and, that's, and I like to share it. If you agree with it, it's cool, and if not, then it's good too, I'm sure. A lot of you out there have really um, awesome ideas. So the way I do it, uh, I for Halloween I put up stuff that I normally don't have year-round. Um, like for example, pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, spider webs, spiders, rats, creepy creatures, um, things like that. Um, creepy cloths, blood, anything that can be very Halloween and exaggerated. That's how. That's what I put up in my home to bring in that Halloween look to it. Because, again, even though my place is, has a dark vibe, but it's not Halloween. So that's how I do it for Halloween and um, I like jack-o'-lanterns I think they look beautiful but I don't keep those around all year round or I take down one item and put up something Halloween for that one like lenticulars like you know lenticulars I don't keep those around all year round like you know screaming witches or ghosts hanging creatures um, dolls things like that I don't keep those around so that's how I decorate for Halloween but as far as my yearly home decor I try not to think or put up Halloween but however you can add Halloween items to your decor already which comes to my second um, part of this video so and this is what I'm talking about I showed you guys this one item in one of my Halloween haul videos um, uh, my place has a lot of gothic cathedral influences and I like um, all those gothic cathedral buildings are so beautiful and I try to incorporate them into my own home in any way I can and I already have a few gothic arches around my place so I was looking for something specific like this so this specific size with these specific skulls because um, again I like skulls because they bring out just enough darkness and I'm going to give an example at the end of this video of how I did it and I kind of placed it in a in an area where like it already looks dark, but then I just wanted to put this there just to bring out a little bit more darkness in, or put in a little bit more darkness into it and bring out that dark gothic vibe that I really like. And um, I bought like four of these. I went to like five different home goods because not all of them were selling these. The first um, home goods that I went to, they only had two, but then one was in good shape, the other one was broken, so I had to go with through like five different home goods until I found five of them so I'm going to place them strate strategically around my walls so as to make them look like um, cathedral windows looking outside or looking inside however you see it so I'm hoping it works out if it doesn't then I'm going to give them back to home goods but um, so far I'm keeping one and again I'm going to show you at the end of this video um, how I kind of put it together so and that's my um, and that's basically it, you know, um, so I hope um, 
you like this video and you know maybe you found it interesting if not then it's cool too but at least that's how I do it that's my vision that's my gothic vision so to speak as far as putting up Halloween items into your home so um, and there there's other stuff that you could put together so you just need to blend it in well with whatever you have already and take away um, the Halloweenness with your regular looking stuff already and just bring out a little darkness into your already everyday stuff also if you can see it that way so okay um so take care guys i'll talk to you next time bye okay so that's where i put one of them up there and i think it turned out really nice um i already had the sconces up there the ones with the candles so i just kind of inserted it in the middle there to give it that cathedral dark um gothic look and this is what it looks like with candles inside it. So, I think it looks good both ways, but uh, I prefer without candles because I think the candles uh, kind of cover up the mirror. Okay, so I think it's much better without the candles. What do you think? It just exposes it a little bit more. So what I'm thinking, I might leave it like this or I might color it black. But I don't. I really don't have time, so I think I'll just leave it like this in the meantime. So um, I hope you like this video, and um, there you go. It, it looks nice. It's a Halloween item, but I'm going to use it throughout the whole year, just to um, give my place that gothic dark look that I really like.